A one, a two, a one, two, three. Let's memorize some numbers with a Memory Master Champion. What's going on? Memory Master Champion Louis Angel right here with AE Mind, and we're gonna continue on with the series on how to memorize numbers, starting off with the single digits. I'm gonna teach you how to create these images for every single digit between zero and nine. As you already know, the key to memorization is visualization. You see, I compete all over the world in memory competitions, and every single one of the memory athletes uses this method of creating stories to memorize information. The three simple steps that we all use is, one, we need a location to store information, two, we need to visualize that information on the location, and and three, we need to review in order to remember it for a longer period of time. And listen, I put together this free guide for you to download right now. Get it at bettermemoryguide.com. Like this video and comment down below what you want me to help you memorize next. All right, let's go. Now for a quick recap, let's go ahead and go into an example. So I would use this number right here, 52, and I would picture a lion for that number based off of the major system that we've already covered before. Now what you want to do is bring up a memory map and choose a location to store that number. So I would picture maybe on my window, it's my first location, I would picture the lion doing something funny so the lion's climbing through the window and then what you want to do to recall it is look back at that window and say what did I picture obviously we picture the lion so you turn that back into the number the number is 52 so are you ready to learn how to memorize single digit numbers now to continue on with the review of how we actually get started with this whole process let's talk about the major system you use the major system to memorize numbers now these are the consonant sounds that you want to associate to each number. Again, if you haven't watched that video, go ahead and watch it down below where I walk you through this whole process right here, major system process. But essentially, a 1 is a T or D sound, an 8 is an F sound, a 5 is an O sound, so on and so forth. Now, as you see here on the screen, 1 is top, 2 is nose, 3 is mouth. We use our body locations to help us memorize the consonant sounds for each number. So again, if you haven't seen that video, go ahead and watch it down below. Let's go ahead and jump right into using that system to create images and associations for every single number number between 0 and 9. For these numbers, because they're only singular digits and not two digits, we're going to have to throw in like uh, another sound in front of the consonant sound for that particular number. So each one of these is going to start with an H sound. It'll make sense in a moment. So house will be our picture for number 0 because the S sound for zero has to be at the end and then the H sound at the beginning. And then you just throw in some vowels to get an image. So my picture for that is a house. Now what you want to do to help you like really memorize these faster is associate them to your body location. So for zero, we picture the sand on the ground. So maybe picture the house just spinning round and round and getting sand inside of the house. So zero is house and you picture that on the sand. The picture for number one is hat. The reason being is because the consonant sound for number one is a T, D, or TH sound. In this case, we're just going to stick with the T sound. You throw in an H in the beginning, a, a vowel or two or a few, um, and you get a picture for that. So hats will represent one. Now we want to picture that on top of our head. So a hat on top of our head, and maybe you're just like, I don't know, inverting it inside out and spinning it. So you have a hat on top of your head. Number two is honey. Two is the N sound for nose, and then the H in the beginning, you throw in some vowels and you get honey for number two. I want you to picture that on your nose, so possibly you're like squirting honey inside of one nostril, and honey comes pouring down the other nostril very rapidly and quickly. So honey, number two, associate that to your nose. Number three is ham. Three for the M sound, H in the beginning, so you get ham. Now I want you to picture ham on your mouth. So maybe you're just biting into a big old piece of ham or slices of ham. Mm, you're biting them and it gets stuck all over your, the, the rim of your mouth. Number four is hourglass. Our fourth location is our ribs. So I want you to picture hourglass and you're maybe like breaking that hourglass on your ribs and you have sand on your ribs now and glass all over the ribs. I know it feels kind of painful, right? Um, but listen, the more action you add to it, the easier it is for you to recall it. So number four is hourglass. Number five is hail, as you see on the screen. Why? Because, well, the five has an out sound to it. And you throw in the H and a few vowels, so you get hail, like it's hailing. Ice balls are hailing down from the sky. So hail for number five. I want you to picture that on your liver. So your liver, maybe it's like frozen cold because there's a bunch of hail. It's pouring hail on your liver. I want you to picture that very vividly, very clearly. Feel the feelings of the coldness of your liver. Okay, again, the more action, the better for you to recall it. So for the number six, we're gonna picture a hash brown. Why? Because the number six has a ch, sh, or ch sound. In this case, we're gonna use a sh sound. 
and then you have the H and a few vowels to come up with hash and then brown at the end, all right? So hash brown for number six. Picture that now on your hip joint. So maybe your hip joint is like really hungry, so you're feeding it hash brown. So hash brown hip joint. Number seven is hook. This one should be pretty easy. The seven kind of looks like a hook. That's an extra trigger right there. But at the end of the day, the consonant sound is what's gonna help you remember it easier. So seven is a cuss sound and we have an H and a few vowels, so hook. Now I want you to picture that on your knee cap. So cap for number seven, cuss sound cap. And I want you to picture that hook maybe lifting up your kneecap. Eight, as you see on the screen, is a hoof. I would just picture like this horse's shoe for the hoof. It's a horse's hoof. Um, the eight has an F or V sound. That's why we have hoof for number eight. Now go ahead and associate the horse's hoof right there on your fibula, on like near your shin area, uh, shin bone area. I want you to picture the hoof doing something. Maybe it's stomping on there. Or maybe you're like throwing the horseshoe around the fibula. Next one, number nine. I want you to picture a hula hoop, a hoop for number nine. Why? Because the nine has a B or P sound and then you just throwing some vowels in there after the A. So hoop for number nine. Associate that now to the ball of your foot. So you're possibly, I don't know, maybe you're spinning the hula hoop round and round on your foot. So on the ball of your foot, picture a hula hoop. Let's go ahead and review this in order to cement this into our long-term memory. What was our picture for number zero? Remember that because it has an S sound to it, the zero always has an S sound, all you have to do now is think back to like that first letter. The first letter for all the single digits is an H. Then you throw in some vowels and you get a, boom, a house. So zero is house. Number one has a T sound. Picture is hat. Number two, you can even refer to the locations that we use to memorize these as backup. That's right, we picture honey for number two. Number three, has an M sound. We also associate it to our mouth. It's ham. Four, picture an hourglass for that one. Five, we associate that to our liver. What was happening with our liver? It was really cold, That's right? Because we had hail on the liver. Six, our hip joint was very hungry, so we were feeding it hash brown. Six is hash brown. Seven, it, it looks like the number seven. It's a hook. Eight, has a F sound to it. That's right, it's a hoof. Nine, what's number nine? Has a B or P sound to it. We associate it to the ball of our foot. That's right, it's a hula hoop. Awesome, you're done with that. Now, let's put this into practice. Let's actually memorize a random sequence of numbers because what's the point of having these images if you don't actually use it, right? So let's go ahead and use it right now. This is gonna help cement these numbers and these images into our long-term memory. So step one of this whole process is we need a location. So bring up right now the home locations that we created. If you haven't seen that memory map video, go ahead and watch it. I'll post a link down below. Once you have that, we want to visualize the pictures for the numbers along that route. So we're just gonna use our first room to memorize this sequence of five numbers. So eight, five, two, seven, three. I know this is pretty simple and you could probably memorize this with Without even using any type of memory system just like say it a few times and you have it down but that's not the point of this the point is to have say a 100 digit number and use the system to memorize that number or you know 50 digit number 20 digit number so our very first digit is number eight i want you to picture a horse's hoof doing something on your first location for myself i might picture like the horse's hoof um, i'm throwing a horseshoe on the window and it's shattering and breaking that window so horseshoe horse's hoof doing something on my window what would that be for you on the second location i want you to picture the number five and that picture is hail so maybe it's hailing on your second location and it's frozen shut now so for myself I'll, I'll see that on a sofa on the third location I want you to picture the number two and that's honey so I want you to picture yourself squirting honey all over your third location on the fourth location picture the number seven which is a hook so maybe you're just like scratching the fourth location right there with the pirate hook and it like latches on there I don't know make it very vivid add some sounds maybe hear the screeching sound of you scratching that area use your imagination to remember these numbers on the fifth location last one we want to picture the number three on there so I want you to picture ham on that location doing something maybe you're like chopping up a piece of ham on that location on your fifth location now what I want you to do is go ahead and pause this video and say these numbers out loud or maybe write them down on a sheet of paper what were the five digits that we just memorized boom here they are it's eight five two seven and three 
That's pretty much it. That's the whole process. That's how you memorize a number. It's all about just associating these pictures along a route and then going back to that route to retrieve the images and translate them back into a number. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to watch the entire number series where now I'm going to take you into memorizing double digit numbers. Ooh, that's going to be fun. Get the free guide at bettermemoryguide.com. Subscribe, like, and comment down below. I'll see you on the next video. Peace out. Keep growing. Keep learning. We out.